Hi guys, today I am doing a quick Influencer video. If you guys don't know, Influencer gives you free products to review. That's pretty much the gist of it. There's no gimmicks, no credit cards, nothing like that. If you have a decent following on social media, you'll get more boxes. So today I got something from Hourglass, which is super exciting. It came in this fancy schmancy little box right here. And I didn't know what I was getting because when I took the quiz, it let you pick a color, which was great because I feel like sometimes in these boxes, they give you like a color that you would hate and like otherwise you'd like the product. Product. So the only thing I've ever had from Hourglass before was this, the ambient lighting powder. This was like a big thing a couple years ago, but it's super cute and I always look at them, like at their stuff when I go to Sephora. So I was quite excited about this. Their prices are not low. Just so you know, I am just going to bring it up on Sephora's website. What I got is I'm assuming a newer product from them and it's called the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. Comes in a gorgeous like gold box. I'll give you some information on the product. Product. It features a creamy saturated long wearing color with a satin finish without smudging or feathering so I will be testing this out and then I'll get back to you in like four hours because I feel like that's the length that a lipstick normally lasts. It says ultra slim lipstick is encapsulated in a sleek gold applicator. It is. It's gorgeous looking. To provide the ultimate control to precisely accentuate contour and define the lips, the gold applicator can be used interchangeably with the full collection of confession ultra slim lipstick refills and our curated collection of shades includes nudes, mauves, pinks, berries, and reds. It says to apply the lipstick, hold on to the bottom section for best control, twist it to the reveal of the product, just a small amount so it doesn't break off, and then use a slanted tip to start from the cupid's bow and go outwards for fuller looking lips. So let me show you what the product is before I get into the price and like the other shades they have and stuff like that. So you open this, and I did open it yesterday, it's not an unboxing, I could not help myself. Comes with, I think a little like booklet is in here actually. So what is this? There's a whole little thing about how to install the refills. Um, so that's pretty interesting. You never see that with a lipstick, do you? So this is what it looks like. <laughs> what? Like, are you joking me right now? So it says Hourglass on it. It's a like gold. It looks like one of those old-fashioned long cigarettes from like Titanic, right? I mean, it's really cool looking. It's heavy too. This is like lovely. Like, this is this feels expensive and it is my shade is called the first time i actually picked quite a more peachy lighter shade than normal i think they offered one in a nude pink called one day and i think i wish into neutral nude and i would have picked one of those but i will i have a lot of shades that are neutrally gray pink and this one's a bit more on the peachy side and i actually thought this would be perfect for a tutorial for a tutorial i want to do soon and i just wanted to try something a little bit different a bit more bright for the season i guess so i am excited to try this out i have nothing on my lips right now and i just wanted to before i try it on let you know that this full thing with a lipstick in it costs 34 dollars on uh sephora so not super cheap but they do have all the swatches on both light and dark skin tones which i think is really important 30 different shades and they're actually quite pretty they have like an orangey one some deep berries so the shades are really nice and the refills they are 22 dollars, which is not cheap especially when you already spent 30 something on this. It has a smell. It smells like makeup, not cheap makeup whatsoever, but it doesn't smell like vanilla or anything. My only concern with this packaging is that because it's right up to the top right there, that when I close it, I'm gonna like mess it up. Like I already see that there's like a dent. You can't see that from here. There's a dent in the top of it before I got it. Also, when I received it, this box was pretty dented, so it made me a little nervous. I'm not eating this or anything, though, so it's not that big a deal. And then when you scroll it up and down, it just feels very loose. Like, it makes me, I feel like because you're refilling it, that the quality of the packaging, like this part, is heavy duty, but the refillable pieces aren't that high quality. But we're gonna check out the lipstick, because isn't that what's important? Like, putting it on and all that fun stuff. So I am excited about this thin, thin bit it's like not obviously as small as like a lip pencil but it's definitely thinner than your average lipstick so i'm gonna zoom you in it's not matte which i'm actually excited about because i'm getting like over matte things so let's put this on it says start with the cupid's bow <laughs> my lips are quite small so this size actually fits my lips pretty well It's a little bit pale. Don't think this color was the best choice. It definitely like feels moisturizing. So it definitely is intensifying. I'm sure the other colors 
would be gorgeous. I'm not loving the color I chose. I was nervous that I wouldn't. My only issue right now, looking at my lips, I'll try to do a close-up if I can, but like this clings to dryness like even though it's a creamy texture it looks almost frosty like there's no shimmer in it whatsoever but it looks like it exaggerates lines it exaggerates dryness it is full color but it like pulls and it drags and it's patchy i don't really like the quality of it especially for this price i would go out of my way and spend 20 30 something dollars on an amazing lip product i would splurge for something that's worth it but this doesn't seem like that. The shade definitely doesn't suit me very well. I mean, it just doesn't suit me. Really pretty color in the tube, and the tube is gorgeous. This is luxury. It's like if you know someone's gonna like a color, this would be a nice gift. Like, it's luxury. It feels like just holding this makes me feel like I shouldn't drop it because it's so expensive. And I'm just not super impressed. I mean, I was really excited about this, but I just, I feel like this color is like drawing is blah. It is making my lips look super chapped. It's exaggerating line, which is sad because it feels nice. Like right now, not thinking what it looks like. It feels super smooth. It feels hydrating. It looks shiny, but not too shiny. It almost feels like lightweight. I don't feel it. And I'm also surprised even at this point, normally, I feel like with a lipstick that is this moisturizing, it would be like all outside here and it's not, but I can already see this happening right here. Let me zoom in real close so you can see. You can see my lip line. Like you look at all those crinkles. And then right here, where it ends on the inside of my lip, I feel like it's definitely going to do that thing where it bunches up. It just doesn't look good. It's definitely clinging to dryness. I don't even want to keep this on all day, to be honest. Like, I would not wear this out of the house. I might wear it for a video because the color is pretty. I don't like it. I feel so bad. The thing is, they're all satin finished, so I'm assuming they're all going to be the same texture. So I don't know if it's just the lightness of the shade and, like, the peachiness that's, like, exaggerating my dryness and, you know, wrinkly lips or something, but I'm not impressed. I'm bummed, too. I was so excited about this. I want to give you all this information. I wanted to be like, yes, yeah, splurge on this. It's so cool and pretty and amazing. I don't think I'm gonna even continue on with this video like I was gonna check in in a little while. I'm probably gonna take this off to be honest because I don't like looking in the mirror and seeing all that dryness and I don't feel it but I know it's there and I can tell it's gonna do that little creepy thing in the corners and I'm just not impressed. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. On Sephora it has more than four stars as an average but I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely try it at Sephora if you you know, or interested in the packaging and stuff like that and you love Hourglass. Thank you so much for watching though. If you did enjoy this review, I give it a thumbs up and definitely sign up for Influencer. I have my link below if you want to sign up. It's completely free, but you get to try stuff. Like sometimes you don't like it like this, but sometimes you get to really, really like it and I've really loved some stuff before. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you next time. Bye!